Hello class. Today, me and Debbie are going to show you how to determine the carbon content of the soil in a mulchy area. We are going to determine the carbon content at the top of the soil and then 20 centimeters down. And so what's the purpose for doing this? The purpose of doing this is to determine the carbon content of the soil. And why would we need to know the carbon content of the soil? To determine maybe if there's any biological activity or where the biological activity may be happening or just to compare it with other parts or other areas um, just for general knowledge I guess. Would it also help with uh, growing plants and vegetation? It would. The more active the soil is, the healthier the soil is and you could you know, choose accordingly what you might want to do. Okay, sounds good. Cool. So how are we going to do this? We are first going to take a shovel and clear some area right here, as you can see, clear some area. That way we get the nice little soil at the top, all right? Right. Then you're going to take a sample of the soil at the top. All right. right. So now Debbie is attempting to take a soil sample of the top of the ground. See, she's kicking it in. We only need, you know, maybe about 20 grams, so um, whatever amount of soil she can get would be fine. And now she will empty the soil into our sample container, which she just knocked down. Well, if you if you stick it in there, you can't open it because when you open it, you want me to hold the cup. And then you get your shoes dirty. It's okay. All right. This went to the. Need some help? <laughs> you sure you don't want some help? There. Twenty grams, right? You just just dump that crap in. It's fine. There we go. Okay. Perfect, we got our first soil sample. Hello. I am digging a hole now. I'm gonna get about 20 centimeters down, hopefully. That way I can get, uh, you know, a real difference in the biological activity of the soil, which will give us a different, you know, carbon content, hopefully. Once we do a few of these samples, get some replicates in, we'll see if there's a significant difference. Once, uh, we run our calculations. So are we doing this in separate sites? Uh, we'll probably do it around the same site, just so you know we're uh, consistent. You know, we, yeah, we're consistent. We don't have to keep analyzing for different situations. Hopefully, the grounds don't come and castigate us or something. Ah, man, this is hard. This is harder than I remember. <laughs> so we're gonna take our first sample now, and we're gonna weigh it because we want you know about the same uh, general weight. So first, I'm gonna put my my weighing cup here, I'm gonna zero it, and I'm gonna get, you know, like, I'm just gonna keep going, make sure you don't get the numbers. Like, oh, okay, I'm gonna get 10 grams, sounds good enough, right? Got 10 grams of my top layer sample. Now I'm gonna put this back, we zero it. Oh, and we, of course, we you have to write down every single thing you do, you make sure you take all your data. So. I'm gonna put this in, get about 10, 10 grams again. Oops, that went over a little bit. All right, now that we have our both samples, what we need to do, since they're all wet and stuff, and we just, you know, we just want full soil weight density, we're gonna turn on the oven here. Well, first we're gonna load our samples in. Make sure you label everything. And we're gonna heat it at somewhat lower temperatures. Um, and just evaporate the water that's in there. You know, leave it for 10, 20 minutes. Now that we have our completely non-moist samples, we are going to, uh, ooh, look, there's a worm in this one, crazy. Look at that. You mean the heat hasn't killed it? I mean, well, yeah, the heat. <laughs> Typically, we'll kill it, but since we didn't eat it, we'll, we'll cut this part out. All right, um, so we have our soil sam samples, and we're going to dump them into these clay cups. What, we're gonna, what we need these ceramic cups for is we're going to load them into this ridiculously, sorry, ridiculously hot oven. When we put it in there, it's going to get up to like 500 degrees Celsius, and 
this stuff is going to be super hot. Now, you can't really label this because if you put a sticker in there or some tape, it's going to just burn off. So you need to remember which cup is which. I know this one is from the top and this one's from the bottom. Top goes right, bottom goes left. So I'm going to load these in and remember exactly where I put them. And I'm going to turn it on. Alright, so now that we're done, we're going to take these things out. Let it sit for like five hours because it's super hot. Now remember, the one on the right is our surface sample. Take it out with tongs, you can make sure it's not going to burn your, your, your skin because it would smell really bad. Put it on this right here. Make sure it don't fall. Remember the placement of your samples. And these are just one replicate of the menu we did. And let's close it back up. All right, now that we have our samples with the carbon burned off, we're going to reweigh them. So, put the cup on there, you re zero it, and you dump your sample in. Oh, wow, look, it doesn't weigh nearly as well, it doesn't weigh as much as it did before. That's crazy. Put your other sample on there, re zero it. Put your sample in. And remember, you need to record all the data you get. Oh, look at that. Why don't you record this number? Now it's at 8.2 grams. So now we kind of you know, need to run some calculations to determine the uh, amount of carbon that we burned off. And that would be the amount we burned off would be the carbon content in the soil. So you take the initial weight and you subtract the new weight. Then you divide by the initial weight and you multiply by 100 and you get the carbon content that was in the soil. And you run as many replicates as you can and then you run a statistical analysis and you see if there was any significant difference in the carbon content of the soil. And uh, thank you very much.